now on your home for minor league baseball. MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Opening night here in this brand new season between the Albuquerque Isotopes and the Las Vegas Aviators. Standing in, Jonathan Daza. And we are set for baseball here this evening. swing and he pops him up this is right out in front of the mound Blackburn will do this himself and that's the first out striding into the box Eric Stamets as he'll get his first opportunity in this one 1-1 one, one. to 1-2 one and two now 53 degrees here at game time as it's cooled off considerably since batting practice this afternoon Again, he sends it out of play. Here's another one, two. And that misses two and two. Now a ball pulled hard, but fouled off to the left. Here's another two, two. Fastball didn't miss by much, and it's a full count now, three and two. You can certainly tell at bats like this one frustrate the heck out of a pitcher. But you got to find a way to stay composed and execute your plan. Dykeman is That's over to his right as he puts this one away. Three. Two down. Three. Bases Four. are empty here with two men out. That's a hit. Their first of the new season. The center fielder, Mike Gerber. In now, Mike Gerber. Full count, three and two. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Frozen on the fastball, never had a chance, and the inning is over. And next up will be Franklin Barreto. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. From the windup, the 1-1 one -one pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Owings is there. And there's one gone to start the night. At the plate, Vimael Mashin. He'll get to take his first cuts here. One out, nobody on. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Seth Brown waits on deck. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. It's down, and their first hit of the new campaign is going for extra bases. And he is in at second base with a one-out double. So now to the plate, Seth Brown lifted the other way out to left center. Left fielder giving chase, but he won't have a play. This is down and into the gap, but he can't get there, and it bounces over the wall. It's a ground rule double. Stepping in now, Trace Lair, and he takes ball two, and it's two and one. All even now, two and two. Lofted in the air out toward right center. And he can't track it down. A base hit. And the runner from second will stay put at third. So they're runners at the corners now with one away. To the plate now, Greg Dykeman. And he lays off for a ball, two and one. Popped him up. Nevin over to his right and he makes the catch for the second out. Now at the plate, Jonah Bride. The third baseman. Jonah. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Yeah. 
Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. So striding forward now, Brendan Rodgers, as it'll be five, six, and seven due up to kick off the second inning. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's two and one now. Everything this guy throws moves, and that two-seamer has a mind of its own. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. Takes this the other way to right, and that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. So a base hit to kick things off here, and there's a man aboard to start out there half That's of the second. It. The first base hit. Into the box, Todd Zinnicky. Line to the right side, and that'll get down for a base hit. And he is in there ahead of the throw, so first and third now to kick off the inning. Standing in now, Drew Butera. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. Lifted into the air out towards center field. Catch is made. Runner tagging from third. And the run will come in to score from third as that'll knock things up at one apiece. Into the box now, Tyler Nevin. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. Now a throw over. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One, one. In there, 1-2 and two now. Fouled away. Lays off two and two now. Hey, he threw that pitch with a purpose to get a double play. Good job to let it go by, though, as a hitter. Neither guy willing to give in, and the at bat will continue. Zinnigi stands at first with one out. Now a fastball inside, and he works it back to a full count now. We could see the runner in motion here on a 3 2 count with one out. There's a pretty good chance he's going to get a pitch to swing at, and if not, it's ball four anyways. Relay to first in time, and just like that, the side is retired. In now, Tyler Ramirez. He's set to lead off the home half of the second. The 3 1. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Now to the plate, Luis Barrera. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. And the runner back safely. Hit out towards second. And that finds its way through for a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. In now, Colin Thoreau. Ah, gets him to swing at a pitch down and out of the zone, one and two. Hey, you know the pitcher right now, he's looking for that best friend, that double play ball. This is where you have to really be disciplined at the plate and make sure that you get a pitch that's above the knees that you can get in the air. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Digging in for his second at bat, Franklin Barreto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, Matty, expect this pitcher to try and get the same result as his last at bat right here. The double play is. Oh, and he can't pick it up cleanly. Bases full now following the error. And stepping up as the shortstop, Vimael Mashin. The 1-1 is in there for the second strike. Bases are loaded with only one out. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. And 
this misses, so it'll set up a big pitch coming up. It's full three and two. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball in that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And he will score as that run breaks the tie and makes this a 2-1 to -one ball game. Standing in, Seth Brown. An RBI double is what he was credited with his first time around. And he's got to build off that last A.B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Throw to first in time. And the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Digging in. Drew Weeks. And he'll start out their half of the third. Top of the order to follow. Hit out towards second. Barreto fields cleanly. Throw to first in time. And the leadoff man is gone to start the third. Stepping in. Jonathan Daza. He popped out in his first trip. A two to one score here as we play inning number three. Shoots this one over to first. And a reach, but it's by him as he couldn't quite get to that ball. Now batting. The designated hitter. Eric Stamets. Into the box now. Eric Stamets. It's one and two. Bouncer to the left side. He's got it. The second for one. But one's all they were ever going to get, and the inning will continue. So a runner at first with two away. And next to bat, it'll be Chris Owings. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. And he popped him up in there, a base hit. So now they'll have two men in scoring position following the two out double. Now that the center fielder, Mike Gerber. So now to the plate, Mike Gerber. In the dirt and block behind the plate. Good job to corral this quickly as the runners hold on. Two and one, here it is. To short, fielded cleanly, and the two-out threat will not come to pass as the inning is over. Bottom of the third now, striding forward now is the DH, Trace Lair. He reached on a single in his first try. Try to bunt for a base hit here as he gets this one down. And the throw will be too late, so it's a bunt single to get him started here. The back, the right field. Stepping in now, Greg Dykeman. Swinging a ball hit softly on the ground. To second for one, but no real shot at two as he's safe easily at first. So coming to the plate, Jonah Bride. He was a strikeout victim in his first try. Yeah, and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one. And we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. Runners on first with one down. And now this ball's lifted in the air down the right field line, but this will get back into the seats, so the count holds at two and two. Smoked on the ground up the middle, and that's through for a base hit, make him one for two in this one. Into the box, Tyler Ramirez. Checked his swing there, and did he go? No, he did not, says the third base umpire. Ball two. Here now the 2-2. I don't think he can afford another base runner here, so whatever pitch he feels best about, whichever one he feels most comfortable with, that's the one I expect him to turn to.
Another full count pitch on its way. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Oh, he can't track it down as this ball falls. And they will hold that runner over at third as he'll move up only 90 feet, but the bases are loaded with one away. Standing in now, Luis Barrera. Yeah, here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Gone! It's a grand slam! Late now, Colin Thoreau. Hot shot to third. And a sliding try there at third, but it skips by him, a base hit. The batter, the second baseman, Franklin. At the plate now, Franklin Barreto breaks his bat as this one's popped up. And he'll find a way to dodge the shrapnel out there to make the play for route number two. Stepping in, Vimael Mashi. It was an RBI sack fly for him last time through. And here's a fastball taken too low, and he works the count to three and one. Well, this has been a long inning already, and I know he doesn't want it to get any longer. I expect a challenge pitch right here. And this misses for ball four. The second walk he surrendered here in the first three innings. Seth Brown will be his first assignment here as he'll face him with runners at first and second and two away. Set. Here's the 3 1. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. The designated hitter. Ready with the 1 and 1. Change up here, but that's taken low in the dirt for a ball. That's lifted the other way out to left. Daza is there to put it away and finally put an end to the inning. Set for the start of the fourth. Ready now, Brendan Rodgers. He singled and scored in his first appearance in this one. The 1 1 home. <laughs> Lifted into the air to shallow center. Barreto is there. Makes the play one away. Riding in once again, Todd Zinnigy, a base hit in his first trip. Here now the 2-2. Is a wave and a miss. He struck him out. Now at the plate, Drew Butera picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. One and two now as this catches the outer half. Right three called and the inning is over. Settling in now, Greg Dykeman. He sets to lead us off in the home half of the fourth inning. Even though they're up by a boatload early on in this one, you can't get complacent and get lazy. They got to keep the gas pedal down because this team that they're playing can strike and score a lot of runs too. Ball taken there. Two and one now. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. But this will be a foul ball as that evens things at two and two. Fastball swung on and missed for the first down. Now with the plate, Jonah Bryan. He singled his last time up. Bases are empty, one man out. In for strike two. Hey, I don't mind that take right there. That was a nasty breaking ball. Started outside the zone, popped back inside the zone. Good spin rate on it. Move on to the next pitch. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. 
Digging in, Tyler Ramirez. First two men in the inning have both gone down via the punch out, so we'll see if he can fare any better. Off the plate that time and a little high. It's even at two and two. And the fastball misses high and away there. It's full three and two. Now the payoff pitch home. He pulls this one high and deep to right center field. And he will get there to make the running play, and that will end the inning. Now at the play, Tyler Nevin. He's 0 for 1 thus far. This one doesn't look good so far. Down by a boatload as we enter the middle innings. It's about time they get something going. And the last thing you want to do is fall behind where you have to score a bunch in the eighth and ninth inning. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Right fielder giving chase. And he tracks it down. Nice play for the first down. At the plate, Drew Weeks. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Two one pitches, a fastball swung on and missed two and two. Hey, I don't care that that pitch didn't light up the radar gun. 89 miles an hour executed two seamer is almost unhittable. Uh, two two one more time. Full count now, three and two. It'd be great right here if he was able to work himself on base. You got the leadoff hitter on deck, and you know the middle of the order is coming up right behind him. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Now Digging in, Jonathan Daza. Last time through Jonathan was a base hit. Braza. Two out, nobody on. Hops this one up, just beyond the infield on the right side. Moreto is there to make the catch, and the side is retired. Coming to the plate now, Luis Barrera. He's off to a fast start in this one. Two for two, including a home run. The 1-1. One -one. Is belted, and take a look at this. Deep to right center field, and it's gone! Yeah, coming into this game, this guy was the least of their worries. I mean, come on. He's in the bottom half of the lineup. Not a threat, right? Wrong. This is the second homer of the game. Pretty soon, he's going to start chirping at the skip to move him up a couple spots. At the plate, Holland Thoreau. Well outside with the curveball for a ball. And a curveball drops in on 2-1. Two, 2-2 two and two now. Here it comes. No outs, nobody on. And he takes ball four. So a good job out of the nine hole in getting on base as we go back to the top of the order. So the lineup flips over and digging in. Franklin Barreto. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. The 1-1 home. And this is popped fouled off to the right and back into the seats. The one two. Now this is slowly hit to short. Probably too slowly to get two. One there. And the relay won't nearly be in time as he's there easily. Stepping in and ready for another shot. Vimael Mashi. One in, one out, and one on here in the inning. Fastball. Close, but he didn't get it. Two and one. Now a chopper to second. This will be a tough turn. Scooped up. Throw on to first. Two gone. Coming to the plate now. Seth Brown. Runner in scoring position with two gone. Two out here and a runner at second. And he'll lay off the fastball down low. It's two and one now. Two. 
changeup called a strike and he comes back even at two and two. Great job on those last two pitches of varying speeds. Gave him a hard fastball and then he locked him up with the changeup. Now he turns on a fastball and sends it deep down the right field line. And that ball will stay fair and it's gone. A home run. Tim Melville gets the call to pitch here and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. In now, Trace Lair. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. Stepping up to the plate, Greg Dykeman. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. And here's a slider for a cold strike, and he's behind one and two now. Fouled off. Three runs already home here. Lined in the right, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Now batter, the third baseman. Into the box now, Jonah Bryant. Hard hit ball to second. And this is turning ugly now as this ball's down for extra bases. And the second run will score as well. Now back, into the box, Tyler Ramirez. And now a fastball, but he's able to hold off on it, and it's 2-1 and one now. Hey, the bullpen needs to step up in this situation. I got to believe the manager. There's a swing, and a ball hit in the air, and a ball that he got every stitch of, as that one, without a doubt, is gone. Antonio Santos gets the call to pitch here, and he'll try to sort this mess out. He's going to try to at least eat a couple of innings for his guys. Antonio Santos. To the plate now, Luis Barrera. And he takes a called strike two. One ball, two strikes, Cap. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Daza is there to make the catch, and mercifully, the side is finally retired. At the plate now is the designated hitter, Eric Stamets. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Liner towards second. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now Here's Chris Owings now. He doubled his last time through. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Softly hit to short. He's got it. Throw in time at first for route number two. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Mike Gerber. It's been an 0 for 2 effort for him to this point. Swing and a miss as he went after the slider there, and that'll run the count full. Well, it's been a good outing so far, but he hasn't really racked up the strikeout totals that you might think, Dan. Yeah, but for him, Matt, he's more of a pitch to cut. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. Ready for another shot now. Colin Thoreau. One for two in the ball game thus far. Grounded weakly toward third. And that's the first out. So striding in, Franklin Barreto. Struggling so far in this one and looking to erase his 0 for 4 ball game right here. Good fastball down around the knees there, taken for a strike. And now a swing and a routine fly ball out towards center. And he will make the play out there, and there are two away now. Into the box, Vimael Mashi. A hit in two at-bats for him at this point in the ballgame. 
speed. The one two. A shot to first base and caught there to end the inning. Burke Smith please. is on to pitch now from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. Number 82. All set for the start of the inning. Digging in now, Brendan Rodgers. It doesn't look very promising so far in this one as we move into the later innings. Down by a bundle, it's time to get some base runners and hopefully a long ball to get them back into this one. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Stepping up now, Todd Zinnegi. He's one for two in the ball game. Lifted in the air toward the line and right. Right fielder is on the run, and that's in there. Base hit. At the plate now, Drew Butera hit hard down the line. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. To two balls and two strikes now. Looked like he just tried to do too much with that fastball right there. He, he overthrew it a little bit. That's pretty much the case when you airmail a fastball like that. Fastball strike three called as he couldn't pull the trigger and there are two away. Tyler Nevin. Hit hard on the ground towards second and that is through into center field a base hit. And the run is in to score from second. The right fielder number 15. Drew Weeks. At the plate, Drew Weeks. And he misses two and one. Two out with the man at first. Sliced hard on the ground. Reined in. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. Last half of the seventh here. Digging in once again, Seth Brown. So far, two for three in this one. And that last at bat when he went deep, he turned around a pretty good fastball. So I'm kind of thinking this guy's a good fastball hitter. So I might want to move that ball up and down and in and out and try not to throw it right down the middle of the plate. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Now batting the designated hitter. And this ball runs away for ball two. Two and one. He's fallen behind now, three and one. And when you're already down by a bunch, this is where a guy's got to take some responsibility out there and at least start throwing some strikes. Count full, three balls and two strikes. Swing and a liner, but foul. Grounded back up the middle, and that finds its way into center for a one-out base hit. So now to the plate, Greg Dykeman. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. He's set. Here comes the 1-1. One -one. Pretty well hit. Deep down the line in right, but that's back into the seats. Foul. The 1-2. Ball three. Three and two now. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. And a good at bat that time as he lays off for ball four. And as a result, that'll move a runner up into scoring position now with two away. Fastball called strike. One and two. Two men are on with two men out. No offer at the curve that time, and it's knotted up at two and two. That's a swinging strike three in the dirt. 
And that ends the inning. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Jonathan Daza. He flew out in his last at bat. The 2 1. Now a ball fouled down the right field line out of play, so that'll move the count to two and two now. Popped up. Brown moving to his left, looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Next will be the designated hitter, Eric Stamets. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Grounder down the line at third, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Heading out towards shallow right. Dykeman is over just a few steps to his left as he takes it for out number two. Now got it. But now in the box, Chris Owings. Two for three with a double on his line so far. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. Now that the center fielder, Mike Gerber. Stepping in now, Mike Gerber. Just off the outside that time, laid off for a ball. Bullet back up the middle. But this will not get down quickly enough as it's pulled in out there in center, and that ends the inning. Digging in to try it again, Luis Barrera. Already a pair of long balls on his line in this one, so we'll see what else he has in store here. Swing and a liner. Foul. Read this one almost in books. The story was clearly the long ball. What are your thoughts on this offense, fellas? Well, Manny V, I don't know what your thoughts are, D World, but boy, when the weather starts to warm up and the ball starts jumping out like this, it's clear that the pitchers need to start making better Not pitches. Better. Yeah, just great approach. No one really chased today. Really stayed staunch on, uh, on their ability to get that pitcher to come into the heart of the plate, and they did damage with it. A ball and two strikes. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Here it comes. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. He takes the turn and heads for second. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. The batter, the second baseman, Franklin. Into the box, Franklin Barreto. Outside, two and one. Takes that one a little bit low. Three balls and a strike now. Three and one. Here it is. A bouncer up the middle. Owings to his left. He's there. And he'll whip this one over to first. And he gets his man for the second out. So digging in now. Vimael Mashi is working on a one for three thus far. Even count. Two balls and two strikes. He's going to be thinking about that pitch all night if he doesn't have a big game right here. Pulled his front shoulder and everything went with it. And it's fouled away. He's ready with the 2-2 pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Daza is there and he puts this one away for the third out. So a great job there of working out a potential trouble. Ready once again, Brendan Rodgers. He was a ground out victim last time up. Even at two balls and two strikes, here's the pitch. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Barrera is there, and he has it for the first out. 
tried to pick things up where he left off. Todd Zinnigy. He hit a two-bagger and later scored in his previous plate appearance. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Dykeman is right there as he takes it for the second out. Now that. Stepping into the box, Drew Butera. He was punched out looking at strike three last time through. Yeah, pretty deflating at bat right there, Matty. Not only for him, but the team as well. He's got to find a way to pull the trigger. Can't get caught guessing with runners in scoring position. Slapped hard the opposite way. And that'll get down for a two-out single. Now that third base. To the plate now, Tyler Nevin. Nevin. Down low, two balls and a strike. Hit hard on the ground to third. Oh, and he can't come up with it. And with that, I can finally say the four words I've had on my mind for what seems like an eternity. This ball game is over. 13 to 2 is the rather one-sided final tally. The Aviators scored a lucky 13 in this one. Paul Blackburn gets the win on the mound his first of the year. Matt Dennis couldn't work out of the third inning taking the loss. Birch Smith takes the rare three-inning save his first of the year. So that'll put a wrap on things here this evening. From our partners Dan Plezak and Mark DeRosa, I'm Matt Vaskersian. This has been a special presentation of MLB The Show. For more, follow us on Twitter at MLB The Show. Joining us here this evening, we remind you to please drive home safely.